Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at these Faber-Castell Black Edition. This is the 36 pack and Faber-Castell Skin Tones. Uh, now for complete and total honesty, I'm gonna let you know that I've already opened these pencils. The, I've actually filmed this video and the footage got corrupted. So this is the second time I'm recording it. Um, so I'm going to try and make this as in-depth as possible. But unfortunately, the first attempt got uh, corrupted. And so the pencils have been used now. Um, I got both of these uh, at my local Michaels. Um, I will put the link in the description. There is a wider range of colors that come in the box. And so this is the 36 piece. You have all of your basic colors, your browns, your yellows, your oranges, your reds, and some additional uh, shades you can see on the, uh, the box here. And then the skin tones are exactly that. They are different colors that can be used to shade in skin. A um, lot of browns, a lot of peaches, a lot of soft yellows and olive colors. Um, these work well for skin. Um, I also did a test picture, which I'll show um, later on. I uh, actually was able to use some of these as browns and yellows in the picture as well. So very handy to have. Um, so a couple of observations right off the bat. So this pencil, uh, it has not been sharpened yet. Uh, so you'll see it is pre-sharpened, uh, but the point is very blunt. So you'll want to sharpen them uh, when you get them. Otherwise, they will, uh, they won't fill too well. The other thing that you'll notice looking at the pencil and I believe you can see it here. Um, there's no name for the color. You have M2, you have a Brazil stamp right here, the color code, and then of course it's Faber-Castell. The pencil is black, the wood is all black. Uh, the cap is the color, but it's not an exact match. Um, it's close, but it's not exact. And uh, you'll see in a second here. The pencils, they are triangle shaped. Uh, let me see if I can get that right there. So you can see that it is triangle shaped, uh, which makes it very comfortable in the hand. They're very light, but they feel sturdy. They don't feel cheap. They don't feel uh, like they're made out of plywood or anything that's super fragile. Um, so they do feel very comfortable in your hand. Uh, they sharpen very easily. I use a Tagal uh, sharpener, link in the description as well. And uh, they sharpened really easily. Two, three turns in the sharpener got a very sharp point. The lead is very soft. Like it is not kidding when it says super soft lead on the package. Um, these crumble more than my Prisma Color Premier. Uh, I would sharpen and sharpen and sharpen and sharpen and sharpen. I'd get a point, I'd use it, and it would almost disintegrate. The tips would break off very easily with super light pressure. Um, so that was kind of disturbing, but at no point was the lead broken inside the pencils as I started sharpening them. The the lead filled the barrel, it was centered, so it was definitely quality, but it's very soft. So if you don't like a soft pencil, I like I prefer the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Like that's that's my preferred uh, coloring pencil. Uh, these these will be very soft. Put these to the side right quick. Let me actually box them back up and then we'll move to the swatching for right now. Okay. All right. So I swatched out all of these colors and put the color above. Um, you can see the colors, the skin tones, they did come out really, really well for a skin tone. 
and even combining some of them, you could get some pretty solid colors for different ethnicities of skin, which is really nice. They, skin tones always nice to have in a kit. Um, the colors themselves, you can see the colors are actually really vibrant. They pop. Uh, they they took to the paper really easily. Uh, you can even see there's a bunch of smudges. These smudges were brushed off with a makeup brush. This brown line here, blue line here, there's some pink lines. These smudges uh, and stuff came from a makeup brush. It, just trying to lightly get away that crumble as I was doing the swatching. And yes, I even swatched the white just to see what it felt like. And it, it went down on the, the paper pretty well. And this is just standard mixed media sketch pad, so this is nothing fancy. Colors could not complain. They they went down well. They responded to pressure. They layered okay. Actually, they layered with themselves really well. In true Faber-Castell fashion, though, uh, blending the colors really didn't work too well. You had to kind of layer it like you do with a polychromo. Uh, so for a, a super soft lead like this, I kind of expected a little more like the polychromo feel, and that's not what we got here. This was very much, uh, I'm sorry, with the soft pencil, I was expecting more of a Prismacolor Premier feel, but it came across more like a polychromo feel, um, which I'm not complaining about. It just wasn't what I expected. Uh, but the, swatching, the, I mean, the colors, pretty good variety, uh, hit everything you needed. So I went ahead and I colored this page. Um, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Um, the colors went down. You can see they're, they're very vibrant. Um, they layered really well. When they were sharp, they got into the, into the tooth of the paper, no problem. Um, they didn't layer too well. I tried to layer in some areas and it didn't take. It, it just overlayered each other like a polychromo. So that was a little unexpected. There's also, in some areas, the color looks a little more washed than I would have liked, even after trying to apply multiple air layers. Um, let's talk about this right here, right? There's this big chunk of brown for this wood sign, which I think turned out really pretty, right? I, I think it turned out very, very well, but this is the only thing that I colored besides the swatching. And to show you a comparison, this right here is a brand new unsharpened pencil from the box. This is the brown that I used on that side. You can see how much of the pencil got used. And when I say that I use a tickle sharpener that does bare minimum, I mean it does bare minimum. This is a pencil that I sharpened once for comparison. So you can see one sharpening with the tickle unsharpened or you know, out of the box and after coloring just that one sign. So these pencils, because they are so soft and you have to layer them to get the color to be vibrant and pop, the pencils, you spend a lot of time sharpening them. And if you have a sharpener with uh, like an electric sharpener or one that doesn't have an auto stop or maybe even like a, a Derwent um, crank, you'll, you'll find yourself uh, going through the pencils very quickly. They, they do not seem to have longevity in mind uh, when coloring because one page and the pencils went very quick. A lot of sharpening. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you are heavy handed. I color very lightly, uh, very light handed and use lots of layers. And even then it crumbled so much I would sharpen put on a quick layer of color, sharpen again, color, sharpen, color, sharpen. And so this sign, to, this sign alone took an entire football game to color, just the wood, not any of the fringe or the words, just the brown, took an entire football game, three hours to do just that. So you have to keep that in mind with these pencils.
So this image, in case you're wondering, is from Autumn Charm, Teresa Goodridge, channel favorite. Uh, I, I'll put the link in the description for this as well. Um, but overall, my experience with the pencils, I mean, they weren't bad. They were actually pretty good. Um, they're not long-term pencils. These are definitely a set that I would use to augment my polychromos, maybe for some additional colors with my Prismacolor premieres. Um, I could see myself using the skin tones a lot. Um, they're not bad pencils. They're, they're definitely real quality. However, with them being super soft leads, with them being so soft you have to sharpen them over and over and so you're you're burning through the pencil and every time you're sharpening if you're looking for budget uh, these are not expensive for the set i think combined it was like 25 dollars for this and this and you can find them cheaper on amazon they have specials from time to time um, but the pencils are going to burn down really really quickly as you sharpen them uh, they're good pencils they great color they were fun to use they were very comfortable i didn't have any problems other than just that tip just disintegrating uh, upon use i probably wouldn't get these if i was on a budget um i wouldn't get these as a primary set of pencils unless it was for like a child or a tween right uh someone younger where the longevity of the pencil not really concerned because they're probably going to drop them they're going to lose them they're going to break them right they're they're going to sharpen them a lot uh they'll probably color more with a dull pencil which actually went down okay when it was dull um but yeah these i would probably say are, are definitely not what i would want for my adult coloring they they just don't seem that they're going to last that long for me which is a shame because i love faber castell as a company but yeah um if you're interested of course the link will be in the description but for me i think i think these for me would be a pass i don't think i would buy another set of these uh but what do you think uh let me know in the comments down below uh if you like this video leave a like if you didn't that's okay. You can leave a dislike. I can handle it. Um, subscribe if you'd like the content. I'm always putting out new videos. And until next time, I hope you have a colorful rest of your day.